So how are we going to add Cartesian vectors? So let's say class we have given here vector A and a vector B. So as you can see, um, the vectors are expressed in Cartesian vector notation. As you can see, um, this is in three dimension because we have x component, y component, and z component as well as their unit vectors i, j, and k. Okay? So how are we going to add it? So using the vector addition class, so in order for us to solve for the resultant force for the resultant vector by adding vector A and vector B, so we simply a plus b but take note that this a plus b is not arithmetic but vector vector addition so by substituting the value of a and b so we'll have the resultant as substituting a which is this one as you can see here your a is a x i a y and a z so if you add it to b so we will combine of course like terms so combining um, x components of a and b so we we'll have the ax plus bx okay so since both of them has i direction so we will have it like that factor out a y and b y like that and a z and b z okay so simple as that so if, if you have two or more vectors so just combine their x components their y components and z components simple as that that's why class we have said that it is easy to apply the vector addition if your force or if your vector is already in the cartesian vector notation so you don't have to worry about getting the x component and so on because you simply add them okay so generally, generally, the resultant is simply the summation of all the forces, which means that you have to, to sum all the x component, just like as you can see here. Okay, so if, if you are if you are trying to to sum up, let's say forces, let's say like there's five forces, force vectors. So just sum, get the sum of their x component. Okay, and then y component. By the way, this is this is y plus this is y and this is j. Huh? I'm sorry, this is j and this is y. Kindly correct that y and j. This is z and k. Okay, you have to sum all the y components and the z components. Simple as that, class. Okay, but but remember, you have to express it first in Cartesian vector notation.